So my name is Nishant. I'm going to study for a master's in electrical engineering at the University of Twente. And uh, currently I am a research intern at I IIT Delhi, which is the uh, Indian Institute of Technology. Okay. And so now to the questions that I have, like what to do after coming to the Netherlands. So maybe you can split your videos accordingly. Uh, The next question is that uh, what expenses would be refunded and like you said that uh, 20 to 30 percent of your student expenses can be refunded if you follow a PhD in the Netherlands. So like what, no, no, uh, what uh, are I mean that video was a little bit confusing because I made it in rush not PhD even if you are working I mean anything you once you start earning like uh, even if you do a job apart from PhD because PhD is like a job. So mm -hmm. I said that if you start earning, then you get it. So it may not be PhD, it may be a job, but it should be in Netherlands. Like you pay tax to the government, then only they can, uh, yeah. once you fill the tax return, they will initiate this process because you feel that I have this pending educational expenses and uh, and that varies from person to person. Like so what are maybe 20% uh, in your case also. It depends on how much salary you are earning. But it will be very similar as mine because once you finish, you won't earn that much. Like yeah. Yeah. Uh, So what all items would be on there? Like uh, stationery and stuff or uh, tuition? Uh, what? Oh yeah. They, 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 if you keep the receipts, you can also declare your laptop costs, some book costs and the tuition fees that's it. Okay. okay because in my time i didn't keep any receipt and i didn't buy also at that time so that's why i didn't declare the laptop and the books but that also you can declare although it is too less but still you get it so it's fine because now the tuitions have increased a lot so that's okay. why and uh, you said that yeah it is uh, especially 20 is i think more expensive than Dell. So uh, i'm not uh, sure about that because uh, the bachelor's I checked, I think 20 was cheaper. Okay. I don't know. Uh, how much do you pay for the master's? Uh, 15,700 uh, euros for one yeah, year. That's fine because okay. you know what is the price of Delft. Currently, mm -hmm. the computer science is 18,500 something. Okay. 18,500 or 550, something like that. So it's really expensive because during that's... my time, I paid like 13,000 okay. something and they have increased it too much. So then, yeah. <laughs> okay, then you're lucky to pass out sooner. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you said see. that I will be. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. continue. Uh, I will, yeah. So I will have to uh, pay taxes uh, even when I'm like uh, in the first year where I'm not working or not doing an internship. No, no, you don't need to. I mean, when you are a student, you don't pay taxes, but. Uh, it's better you you can fill it later also so normally these tax forms they because at that time we also didn't know about it when i filled the form after my study was over so normally you have a five year window period in the online portal where you fill the tax forms tax return and mm -hmm. so that so you can fill something which is five years before not before that so sometimes people don't know about this and when they feel after studies, sometimes if they study for six years, then one year is gone. So that is why if you study for two, three years, then after that, if you do, it's fine. But if you are working part time and if you want to finish it every year, then from the beginning also you can fill it. It's not that a big deal. Many people hire consultants, but I think you don't need them. Like it's very easy because in your case, unless you have properties and loans and mortgage, everything is very easy. It's in Dutch, but if you use that translate then it's very easy so it's fine like you can do it yourself but i think it is better if you do it from the beginning if you want to stay here okay. then if you do it from the beginning then by the time end of third year you will see the pro and you don't need to fill all the three years form <laughs> yeah as yeah. i did like it took like a month to understand which things i should fill which things i should not fill and there are a lot of errors and a lot of misconceptions and everything then i made the video and still the video i was like it was not okay, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, some information, some indication. Yeah, 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 I mean, because most people don't know about it. When I posted yeah. in the Facebook groups, I many people contacted me and I found that, I thought that people will be knowing about it, but 
many people don't know about it and even if you get 5000 or 10000 doesn't matter that is money like that's not like <laughs> <laughs> anything works and uh, would i get a rent allowance as a student if like uh, none of these Did you see my rent allowance video that was very clear uh, so do I you get it as a student or not rent allowance mm -hmm. in december december 2018 there is a playlist uh, called benefits and allowances for yeah it's on the uh, whiteboard thing right yeah yeah, yeah. so there yeah, you will so find everything like the care allowance which i mentioned is relevant when you if you work as part time or any kind of job during your study then your insurance will increase as the work insurance so your student insurance is around 40 50 i think i don't remember how, how much is it now but during our time it is around 40 but working insurance is always like 100 or 110 but because of the care allowance when you work you pay less so it's like very strange like when you work if for 2 3 months then instead of paying 110 after allowance so you pay 110 but you get allowance like 90 euros or 85 euros so in turn you pay like 20 resultant amount you pay but during student you pay like 40 something so that's uh, that thing i explained in the care allowance video very properly and in the house rent allowance i explained like you need a private accommodation that is the first and foremost uh, condition if it's for uh, private yeah yeah, yeah. if private accommodation then uh, would you get a uh, allowance or not as a student or do you have to be working that was my question no 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 the the condition is like you, your gross should be minimum even if you are working Uh, like part time or anything your gross should yeah, be below 20000 or 22 i don't remember i mean that will obviously be low when a student is applying because you are okay. not working full time so you won't earn that much okay. but you should check it because uh, in the contract also they mention it somewhere it's something in dutch i don't remember the name but in but you know dutch so it will help you a lot but the contract is like uh, they mention everything in that like which amounts can be declared in the allowance because when you go to the form online mm -hmm. they once you translate it everything is very easy and if you can understand that is also fine uh, so you need to fill certain like there is a basic allowance that also mentioned in the video that you can declare and apart from that there are certain things you can declare like not everything like the cleaning cost per month and other things yeah 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 but so, just the uh... yeah yeah so yeah. those things you want to declare and you should check also uh, are you sharing anything like a bathroom or a kitchen uh, i don't have a place yet so i was uh, thinking that if i would get a rent allowance uh, then maybe an apartment is cheaper but otherwise maybe the room is cheaper so that's why i asked ah okay yeah i mean i yeah. think if even if you get a allowance if you stay like 3 half kilometers away from the university then mm -hmm. it might be something like 383 between 350 to 400 maybe it might have increased now so maybe 420 mm. you pay after allowance i mean the resultant amount that you'll pay but if you take apartment and you have room and you share kitchen and everything without allowance that will be also less than equal to 500 i think so you have to mm. see which one is beneficial yeah that it's difficult to know beforehand how much allowance you'll get even if you choose a private but yeah, still I, I you can have you a rough estimation a, uh, you have a calculator yeah, i gave link. the calculator link so you can get it there okay. but that thing you should check in your contract also like when they advertise everything they mention which are uh, yeah. allowable like which costs 